Welcome everyone! Welcome back to Let's Play Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. I can't believe we're playing 2015 and it's already 2017. Man, time flies way too fast. It's kind of scary actually. But oh well, what can we do apart from upload our minds into huge robotic warframes and then destroy everyone and uh, take over the world? Which is my plan. Damn! Don't actually... No, that's copyrighted. Don't take my plan. That's 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 my plan. Anyway, we're working on this uh, Maserati here. And we've got another one here. For some reason, I don't really understand why I've, um, I've taken a customer's car. Why did I do that last time? That's odd. Oh, well. It doesn't have a lot to do. It's only got some controlling stuff. So it's, it's going to be those uh, arms and sway bars and stuff like that. But that's all right. Anyway, we're rebuilding this little beauty here. And I can't really remember what else we have to do. Apparently nothing from the bottom, I guess. No, have we put all these um, things for the leaf springs in? Apparently we have. Okay, let's, let's get it down. Righto. <clears throat> Look at that. That's pretty good. Alright. So, it needs a starter. Oh, and of course it also needs the pistons. Have I bought the performance ones? The answer is no. Uh, now, I cannot sell the pistons. I mean, I cannot repair the pistons. We're going to sell all the junk, and we're going to sort by condition, and just sell all this stuff. Yeah. I mean, can I repair anything else? No. So all this stuff is going. Bye! Item taken from inventory! Item taken from inventory! Item taken from inventory! <sighs> There's so much stuff. It would be nice if... Oh my god. Oh! Sell all. There you go! There is an option to sell all, but... I don't want to sell all, I just want to sell the stuff that's crappy. So annoying, but oh well. Uh, oh yeah, we need the performance pistons. Piston, please, s'il vous plaît. Ooh. Oh, there's actually a different piston with a much uh, shorter stro stroke. Oh, that's a bore. Wait, is that a bore or the stroke? I can't remember. Um, I just need a pistons with con rods. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because it's a nice six cylinder. <clears throat> right. That goes there. That goes there, there, boom. There. I wish rebuild, rebuilding engines was this easy, but then again, if it was, then everybody would be doing it, and I wouldn't really get anything uh, from it. Why do I have that many carburetors? Bloody hell. That's um, my performance ones. Carbs. One, two, three, plus 7%. That's quite nice, actually. There we go. I like, I really like the color scheme of the performance parts, I have to say. I don't know. It's just, oh, no, no, not this one. I don't know. I guess, I guess it's also because they're all nice and chrome and shiny and all of that. Even though, you know, usually I'm not a huge fan of loads of chrome on cars. That's just, it's just gaudy and, I don't know. Um, I've seen some, I've seen some cars, um with chromed alloy wheels and it's just bleh, sparkling and no it is not it is not our way do we have any performance camshafts <clears throat> might this is the performance shop okay uh what do we need just a normal one no we need an i6 of course i6 where are you there you are and a couple of those Put one here, and put one there. Now, the performance camshafts do make sense, because I guess uh, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so 14. So, you know, you would have more aggressive um, camshafts. Wait, caps, okay. Uh, more aggressive settings. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Of course, having a more aggressive uh, uh, cam setting also means 
you know, an advanced ignition also means that I believe the engine will work a lot um, rougher at idle. You know, it would be it will it, be a lot less nice to drive normally in a city, for example, because it'll be it'll be lurching a bit. It'll be, you know, it won't it won't have a nice idle. So yeah, you, you can't be too aggressive with the camshaft. <clears throat> Which is funny. Also, some people have said, um, you know, how do you know so much about cars? Do you work on them? And the answer is neither. I, first of all, I don't really know that much about cars. I just like cars, so I'm interested in them. And, you know, I'm also interested in technology. So I, you know, every now and then I, I do look stuff up on, like, um, I don't know, uh, Wikipedia or stuff like that. Uh, let me just... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. There. It's got a lot of bloody spark plugs. Um, but secondly, there's also games out there which can teach you quite a bit about cars, for example. For example, this game, while I wouldn't really use it as a, you know, basis for learning about cars, it does have, you know, quite a few uh, interesting things when you're taking engines apart. Wait. Why did I... Oh. Of course, I was... <laughs> six cylinders, not seven cylinders. I bought 14 of them. Oh well, doesn't matter. We'll use them later anyway. Uh, camshaft gear. That's not gonna be performance. I6. Uh, what? Where is it? Oh, cam gear. Okay. Uh, yeah, like this game, for example, you know, you you do learn a bit about how the engines are put together, what, what comprises of an engine, and so on and so forth, which is quite interesting. Um, you know, it, it is, of course, a bit s simplified and a little bit rough sometimes, maybe, but yeah, it gives you a pretty good idea of what a camshaft is, what a crankshaft is, where the spark plugs go, maybe, I don't know. Um... You know, if it's got carburetors or direct injection. But, the one game I would strongly recommend you, if you're, um... Ugh, manifold. If you're interested in this sort of stuff, is... Um... Is the Automation series. I mean, not series, it's... They're still making the first game. But Automation. Check it out on Steam. Check it out on Steam. It's a very, very interesting game. If you've ever played the old, um... Detroit, I think it was called? Very, very old game. Management game where you built and ran a, um... Car empire. You know, you, you, you had factories, you built cars. It was all quite interesting. And, um... This is basically it, but with a modern twist and take. Timing chain sprockets. I hate these little things. Timing chain sprockets. Uh, well, an i6, I guess, right? Probably not. Oh, it does want an i6. Good. I know you might say, well, duh, it's an i6. Well, sometimes it just uses different stuff. Like, for example, this uses the i4 real rear-wheel drive gearbox instead of a, you know, an i6, like you would expect. Timing cover. Oh, yeah. We already have the timing cover here. Where's the Seb ring? There. Quite an interesting timing cover. So anyway, yes, Automation is a very, very interesting game. It's still early, it's still fairly, I mean, not fairly early, but it's still early access. So don't expect to go in there, you know, and uh, have a whole game. But the really cool thing about that game is that you build the car from the ground up. And with that, I'm looking for this. And with that, I mean from the ground up. You start with, you know, the body. Then you go on to uh, the ch the chassis, the um. Wait, what do we need? Bloody hell! I'm, see, I'm not good at multitasking. Distribution rotor. There. Of course, we want the performance one. <clears throat> and the performance cap. And of course, the performance wires. There we go. That looks quite nice. But yeah, you you basically build everything on the car. You build the uh, the shape. 
You build the fittings, you build the grills where you want them. Uh, you, you select the tires, you select how big, how wide, and everything else they are. Uh, and then you build the engines, and that's probably where the, the best part of automation is. You build pretty much everything. You can have an i4, an i3, an i6, a v6, a v8, a v... 10, I think, will come, V12, even a V16, you've got turbos, non-turbos, you've got carburetors, you've got direct injection, you've got <clears throat> how many valves you want per, you know, per cylinder, how many, um, if you want, um, variable valve timing, and so on and so forth, there's so much, and then you run the engines, and then you tune the mixtures, um, of air, fuel, of timing, everything, it's so cool, it's sort of a geeky game, and then you actually run the cars, uh, and then you start selling them. It's brilliant. And of course, the game goes through the years. So you start at like 1930s with, you know, crappy technology and crappy cars. Uh, you know, heavy big tanks that go nowhere. And you, uh, and you proceed to modern times. It's really, really interesting. I love it. So I would strongly recommend that. Uh, crankshaft. Why am I so useless at this today? Crankshaft. Oop. Pulley. I6. There we go. So yeah, that's how I, you know, how I get to know a bit about cars a bit. Also, I drive quite a few of them, so that's possibly also something to do with it. Serpentine belt B. But then again, I don't really take the cars apart, <laughs> mind you. So, uh, yeah. I just drive them. There's a radiator fan. Unfortunately, there's no, um performance one. I believe we need a B one, right? Yeah. Wow, my memory actually sort of working today. I'm surprised. There's a radiator. No performance radiator, unfortunately. I believe there's none anyway. Right, we need the underside stuff. Oh yeah, there's another belt. Serpentine belt A. Belt, s'il vous plaît. Um... Uh, no, I need an AI6 there. Thank you. And that's it for here. Now we just need the uh, oil stuff. The oil pan. I believe that's it, really. Yeah. At the back as well. Nice. Look at this little engine. Quite nice, isn't it? In it! We'll also check how much um, power we've made using the performance parts. Should be quite a bit. I want a performance oil pan. <laughs> A6, please. There we go. I do believe that is the last part. There we go. Yeah. I believe that's it. Right, let's put some oil in it. I did not forget this time. I, d I hope I didn't forget the fuel pump. I don't think I did, anyway. Uh, right, where is the oil thingy? Uh, it is simple. Um, yeah, it's kind of going past it, but okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 14 bucks worth of oil. Now, I believe this engine is... Ah, clips. I knew it! Bloody clips. And it's gonna be on the distributor. Always miss those. There we go, where's the clips? There they are. Clip B. And another clip. Obviously, the engine does not start without the clips. <laughs> There, now the car is complete. There we go. 91,000, bloody hell, that's nice. I wish it would tell you how much we bought it for. I don't really remember. Right, so originally the engine had 255 horsepower. And 335 newton meters of torque. About how a uh, how 1.6 diesel would get you these days. A four, uh, four pot diesel. Right, let's uh, put it on the dyno and see if we can... Uh, we can tune it a little bit, shall we? So, how much are we making now? I wish I would actually, actually show you the bloody car instead of this rubbish. Whoa, or 19, that's nice. I wonder why it doesn't show you the torque, that would be kinda cool. Right, so once again, it's been a long time since I've done this. Um, so now I'll have to figure out... Okay, the proper ratio. So, up a bit. Oh yeah, wait a second. Okay, so 
So these should go... Uh, there. 18%. What about now? It's gonna be undrivable on the uh, drag strip. Yeah, 465. That's quite, a, <laughs> that's quite a lot for such an old engine, to be honest. <clears throat> but, of course... To be fair, it's not old anymore. It's uh, It's been completely rebuilt. So it does make sense. Old technology still, but, you know, rebuilt. Let's uh, let's take it for a spin, shall we? Oh dear. Accelerate to start. Alright. Yeah, this is... Yeah, yeah. Not really a great start. And we still got it there in about 8 seconds. That's not great, but of course, it was all wheel spin. Come on, then. You can do that. Come on. Wait, it's got five gears, that's it? Well, bloody hell, you get, you get to top speed rather quickly in this car. I'm pretty sure I pressed P there quite several times, and... Yeah, that was the top speed. Well, <laughs> yeah, eight seconds to a hundred. It was all just bloody wheel spin, but... What do you expect? We need different tires, I guess. I don't think they matter in this game, though. Oh, well, let's go back. Alright, well, that's the car done. We can sell this, maybe. We can swap the tires, but there's really no point, I think. I, I, I seem to remember, like, someone said that they do make a difference on the drag strip. Um, in the game, of course, but, um... I don't... I don't know if they do. Oh well, doesn't matter. Let's uh, sell this a car. It's quite nice. Yep, <clears throat> it's quite a bit of money. Right, let's see what's wrong with this little thing. Well, it's not a little. Lifter not ready. Go to the right lifter then. We should respray the car. <laughs> all right, up we go because the problems are all going to be underneath. There's going to be rusty uh, arms, sway bars, and stuff like that. Yep, there you go. All right, time to take the uh, wheels off. There we go. I'm quite the car is in quite good nick, considering it's uh, an old classic. There's a sway bar, all rusty. And a tie rod, the steering rack. Uh, there we go. All right, that should be it. Just you know, both sides, and we're done. It's quite a very quick repair. But we work on an interesting car. Look at that air filter. <clears throat> Quite interesting. It does go outside, I believe. It doesn't just end in the engine bay, which is not really what you want. There we go. I believe that's all the parts, really. Oh, no. Oh, it's probably in the back. Yeah, I can see the, the back is rusted as well. Here we go. The leaf spring suspension. Bink kind of crazy if you think about it an old expensive luxury car like this and it was it relied on leaf springs but then again those were the times there we go now we've found all the parts so <clears throat> we need three u-bolts uh, actually can we repair any of this stuff the answer is the oh never mind uh, so, one, two, three of these. Inner tie rod. Tie rod. You also need two of the outer ones, I'm pretty sure about that. Yep. Uh, leaf spring plate. Plate. There it is. Uh, steering rack and a sway bar. Steering rack. A sway bar. Front end link B, I believe. Was it? Yes, it was. I am amazing. Or that is my... My, uh... Memory is amazing. Because it usually isn't, so... If I remember something, that is amazing. It's kind of scary. Um, I think I'll be really forgetful when I grow old. <laughs> <laughs> Which is the reason I don't want to grow old, and I just want to upload my mind. Alright, let's put all this stuff in. 
There we go. And the... What is it? Oh, we need the steering rack in first, of course. Inner tie rod and the outer tie rod. There we go. And now, well, can put the wheels back on, I guess. Look at that. We even repaired him. Uh, we even repaired their wheels. Free of charge. Look at that. With a little hop cap. Tie rod. And the outer one. Brilliant. And then the wheel. There we go. Perfect. That is good. We're done. We are all done. 2,000 for that. Not bad. Hey. Well, thank you very much for watching. I can't believe you people, you people are uh, still enjoying this series, but I'm very happy you are. Um, but still, you know, let me know how you're enjoying it and if you'd like anything changed. So I will see you next time in Car Mechanic Simulator 2015. Bye-bye.